Hello fellow nerds. Today we're going to be taking a look at a tool called Minikube. Minikube is a binary you can run on your laptop that sets up a single Kubernetes cluster for you. So this makes it really easy to get up and running with Kubernetes. So first things first, you're going to want to navigate to the GitHub repository for the project. Click on the release tag here. This will bring you to a page that has several links. Just click on the link that is appropriate for your operating system. There's also some curl commands you can run if you're lazy like me. I promise they're not malicious. So we're going to come back to the readme and underneath the quick start section, we're going to run some of the commands that they have listed here. So first one, minikube start. Now this is going to start our local Kubernetes cluster and it takes a minute or two. You can also pass in a different virtualization software if you have a preference. I just stick with the default. All right. Perfect. And we can check that it's running by running kube control cluster info. And you can see that the IP addresses there are for a local IP. And also in the readme, it has an example to set up a deployment. So we're just going to copy this command over here and I'll explain what some of these flags are. So we're telling kube control to run the deployment hello mini kube and we're also passing in the image that we're pulling from the google container registry which is an example uh, server that's running on port 8080 so I've already had this deployment set up so it's telling me it already exists next we're gonna have to expose the deployment to set up a service Great, and mine already exists as well. So next we can check to see that they ha that there's some pods running. And you can see that mine has been uh, running for eight minutes. You can also delete the pod. Cool, if we run get pod again, you can see that it launched a new one. And that's because in our deployment, we have one replica set. Yay! And now we're also going to run a minikube command to curl directly into our pod. Hooray! We get some information back. Great! And then the last command is minikube stop to stop your cluster. We can also do some fun things like uh, kube control scale, and then the deployment, our deployment name, which is hello minikube, and to find the number of replicas. So we'll set that to three. Cool. So now our deployment's scaled. We can check that by doing kube control get pods. And now you see that we have two additional pods running that are six seconds old each. All right. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Check back for more videos.